Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing another video game pickup video. Today I got some cool stuff here, at least I think so. We're going to start it off with Super Mario Brother Band-Aids. Because, yeah, I saw them and had to have them. Okay. I got a Family Pocket GV300. It is a bookshelf retro TV clock and wireless gaming. I will be doing a video on this with an unboxing at another later time. But when I saw this, I just thought it was really nifty, kind of an oddball thing. It's a small TV, a couple wireless controllers, and it's got some built-in video games. So, yeah. All right. I got a retro duo. I got the Retro Duo pretty cheap on eBay on an auction, and I figure I'd save a little bit of wear and tear for my other systems, so, yeah, why not? All right, now, some Atari love. I got Spider-Man. I don't know much about this game, but I had to have it. All right. Had to have this one. Yep, I got me Donkey Kong. Maze Craze. I don't know how to pronounce this one, but I think it's pretty cool. It's got this generic looking, like, Mario who's a painter, and this generic looking uh, Adventure Island guy, and a pig and a giant monkey and it's called Amadar. I don't know. If you guys know anything about this game, go ahead and put it in the comments down below. I got all these Atari games at two bucks or less at a little local, uh, well it was a game trade night here in Southern Oregon with Southern Oregon Retro, tra uh, retro Gamers and they had a trade night where everybody brought some stuff to trade or sell and yeah, I had to hit it up and see what the locals had. And I finally got this in my collection. It's not in the greatest shape for the labels or anything, but I now have Pitfall. And this is one of the ones I wanted in my collection for a while now, and now I have it. All right. This one was sent to me by Tom and Lacey over at Do You Nerd in a challenge box we did. Uh, go ahead and check out Tom and Lacey's channel and uh, check out the challenge box where I got this. They sent the Sonic Classic Games Collection for the Nintendo DS. Big Sonic fan. I'm pretty happy about this. I had to trade my daughter a thing of uh, mints. The tin. I should probably show that too. Well, it's a, a Nintendo controller mint tin. Alright. I got a Super Mario Brothers bandana. Alright. I got Guilty Gear, X-Road, or x -Sign. <laughs> I've never played this one. It looked pretty cool from what I saw, so I wanted to get it. Another one is called Strange Brigade. I don't know anything about this one either. Unfortunately, GameStop likes when I order things online to send me these generic cases. Oh, well. All right. This one here, I got pretty cheap. Got Hot Shot Skull for the PlayStation 2. And talking, this is the cheapest thing I got. I don't know if it's a deal or not. So a local thrift shop was having 75% off on green tags that day. They had it already priced at 75 cents. I got Disney Sing It on the Wii for 19 cents. I had 19 cents, go ahead, give it a shot. All right. Now, I picked this up also at that same trade night. It's a converter, and he included a Famicom game, but a Famicom to NES converter. And I don't know anything about this game. Um, it's in Japanese. It's got a sumo guy on it waving at you. See? All right. 
Now, this one was a good one. I like this one. At least the American version. I got Tag Team Pro Wrestling for the Famicom. I got Tennis for the Famicom. I don't know what this is called, but it's got a lady playing golf, so I'm assuming it's a golf game for the Famicom. Um, it's a Konami game. I think it's Mahjong. Looks like a Mahjong title. Comment down below if you know what this is. But I think it's a Mahjong game. I got an SNK. Looks like it's a baseball game. Alright. Okay, I don't know what this one is. Oh, there it is. It's Highlight. Okay. Got some more Famicom. Um... It's a Hudson Soft game. It's got a cute little kitty cat and some kids running away from what looks to be some kind of like demon robot looking thing with Saturn. I don't know. If you know the titles of any of these games in English, comment down below. I haven't quite learned Japanese yet. Well, here's another one I can't read. It's a green cart, nice color. Um... Bandai, 1985, made in Japan. And I have no idea. It's got some girl standing in a pool of honey. Looks like she's mean mugging a whole bunch of different zombies and monsters and stuff. Don't know. A Famicom Jump. I don't know what this game is. Um, yeah. Um, it's got a whole bunch of different anime characters, including some Dragon Ball characters, and uh, looks like some muscle men. Yeah. I have no idea what this is. But it looks really nifty. So, if anybody can tell me what that is, be interested to know. Now, these next two, I know what they are. Because, well, it's Dragon Ball Z. I got Dragon Ball Z 2 and 3. So, I've jump-started my Famicom collection and added some Atari and a little other retro goodness here and some new stuff. So, I'm pretty happy with this pickup. My next pickup video, I'm going to be showing off my Jump Started Super Famicom collection. So stay tuned for that one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you know the titles of any of these games that I don't know yet. And like, share, and subscribe.